Hello everybody, welcome to the White Tiger Tarot. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Today's pick a card is a message for your soul, from your soul. All right, and as always on my channel, Spirit completely picks and customizes each and every pile so they are completely unique to you and your message and your situation. So let's get right into it and I will give you some time to meditate on your cards and I will see you in your pile. Hello, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. This is a message for your soul. Um, sorry, from your soul, for your soul. Okay. So you guys were attracted to the Mars card. Also, sorry if you hear a little bit of background noise. My dishwasher is running right now and it's close to where, where I'm doing this. <laughs> um, okay, so Mars. Action, energy, forward movement progress, look at all of this energy, right? Electricity, intensity, okay? All right, so Spirit is taking us to your first deck, which is the Matchbox Tarot. This is a deck that I created um, using vintage matchbook um, designs and antique ones, actually. I collaged them. And um, yeah, this is for sale in my shop. It'll be linked below and it's also on my website um, if you'd like your own copy. And also just to let you know, shipping is included in the price, okay? So your first cards out is death. Seven of swords. And the Eight of Cups. Wow. Intensity is right. Am I right? <laughs> wow. Intensity. There is, first of all, I think, okay, there's another card that wanted to come out, so I'm just going to take that. We all know death is huge transformation, okay? And so if you've been going through something that's felt, you know, oh my gosh, like so, so much change, so much revealing of people, of energy, of, you know, those around you, of, you know, interesting, interesting what I'm getting here. So there's something in your life that I think is done, is dead, right? And I think what your soul is trying to tell you is to look out for yourself in this situation, that there's something here that you gotta, you got to move on from. you got to set yourself free from, okay? And Mars doesn't take any heat, okay? Mars stands in its power and says, N enough's enough. I'm getting the hell out of here. Like, if this isn't benefiting me, if this isn't honoring me, and because and, Mars values itself at the highest degree, it knows its power, it knows its value, it knows what it can do, okay? And so there's something in your life that is trying to change and transform. I think you're changing and transforming. Maybe you're stepping into your power more. And here we see there's a little fox boy, right? Here try, stealing the shoe of a giant. But we see the giant here has a knife in his belt that's been bloodied. Okay, so he has been wreaking havoc over this community or over these people or over this person. And so they're just trying to get, they're just trying to get the advantage while he's asleep. Okay, so there is something here, and these are like, Mars is war. Mars is the god of war, right? The Seven of Swords originally talks about 
strategy for war and being really creative in how you overcome an enemy. And Seven of Swords, traditionally, he doesn't like just go out to fight in war. He sneaks into the the other army's um, area, but I, I don't know what it's called, Fox Den even, right? And steals their swords away so that they have no um, weapons to use against them, okay? So it's being creative, strategic, in how you maybe leave something, in how you overcome something, okay? There's like, there is some kind of strategy here or there is some kind of maybe person or situation or energy here that is taking advantage of a situation that is being unjust, that is actually be, might be being cruel, okay? And I feel like it's saying like, don't just let like let this die but also it's it's realizing that there is something that is you know it's done or it's not good for us anymore and we have to we're transforming into our power right this is that fist of yes this is that this card can also talk about like activism right standing up for ourselves standing up for what's right and that's what this little boy is doing this little fox he is, you know, he is taking a risk for sure by taking his boot, but it's like, it's his form of challenging it. It's his form of, you know, taking something or, or getting one up on, you know, this giant while it's sleeping. Okay. And so there's something here where you have to stand in your power or you are standing in your power and your soul is just like, commending you for that but if you haven't done this already your soul is saying it's time for us to stand in our power it's time for us to stand up against this bully or this energy that's been taking advantage over us we are transforming and this energy is transforming it's time for us to go it's time for us to move on it's time for us to be set free we have to be set free and i think you have to set yourself free okay you have to set yourself free and look at that the the um, the card that wanted to come out is the Six of Wands. Victory. And this, okay, <laughs> so interesting how we keep getting these like war messages. The Six of Wands talks about coming out of a battle or a war, okay, a, a serious battle, um, victorious, okay. It's having gone through something really difficult, something that's felt like, yeah, like a battle or a war, but we are victorious on the other side and gaining recognition for that, okay, on the other side of it. Gaining a lot of respect and appreciation for what we've gone through or what maybe we stood up against, okay? There is something here that is maybe unjust in a situation. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, that is happening, that is unjust, that needs to be stood up against, Okay, that maybe you are being taken advantage of in your work. Maybe your boss is really unfair, okay, in some way to you and to your coworkers. And someone needs to do something. And it doesn't mean to, you know, just get super angry and lash out. The Seven of Swords talks about doing it creatively, okay, doing it creatively. So, or getting yourself out of the situation creatively where maybe it means like applying for other positions without letting them know, <laughs> okay? And then in putting out your resume and feeling, you know, putting out the feelers um, because maybe your boss is, is reluctant to give you that raise that you so deserve, okay? But this is you having that deep transformation of knowing your worth, knowing your power, Okay, and you being strategic for yourself so that no one gets hurt in the situation, right? We don't want people to get hurt. We don't want people to get, you know, um, we don't want to make things more chaotic. Mars is very logical and very strategic in how he, he overcomes certain situations, right? And yes, that's using our power. Yes, that's using our creative ability. Yes, that's using, you know, that that deep, um, 
look, we got the reds, oranges, and yellows here. Those are all the lower three chakras, okay? That is Mars. That is using our, our hunger, our drive, our um, confidence. It's sitting in that confidence, our sexual power, okay, to go after what it is we want, to kind of stick it to whoever's not, you know, appreciating us or not treating us fairly or not giving us what we're worth or deserving of okay there's something here where your soul's like we're ready for this let's do this like this is time it's time to take action it's time to move it's time to say no it's time to strategize in in ways of getting out of the situation or telling our boss you know exactly how we're feeling or you know applying to other places that we can just kind of get away and just quit, you know, but, but looking out for ourselves, okay, beyond, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, I have allergies and they're really, really strong <laughs> today. But this is like, look out for the best of you and maybe those around you by, um, maybe this is you guys forming a union. Okay, it's something like that where it's like, let's band together and you're going to be the leader of some kind of maybe movement or at least getting just fairness for your coworkers. Um, or in this situation, this could be, um, this could even be in love in a situation and you're like, I just feel, you know, I feel like I'm getting taken advantage of maybe, you know, even worse than that. And this is you sneaking out in the night right this is you and maybe popping a couple tires so they can't come get you you know what i mean it's kind of this where it's like no one gets actually hurt in this situation but this person deserves to be told how they're making other people feel or get a taste of their own medicine in some way and not nothing bad nothing mean but they they this this situation is unjust and we have to be set free because right now it feels like we're kind of in prison or we're being held back or we're being, yeah, there's something here where it's like we're not, the situation is not fair. And we must stand up for ourselves. We got to stand in our power, in our truth. And that this part of you is transforming so that you can do that, okay? Um, the situation's transforming so that you can show yourself that you can lead this, that you can stand in your power, that you can have victory uh, moving forward and set yourself free. Okay, we're going to get more cards. Excuse me, I'm just going to have a Kleenex. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so what else... To my pile ones, what else does their soul want to tell them about the situation? What is from their soul for their soul? The devil, look at that. There is someone playing you here. There is someone playing you. There is someone taking advantage of a situation, being unfair, okay? And literally, like, maybe using people for their advantage or using a situation, manipulating something here. And it's unfair, and you got to leave this. All right, your soul is telling you for its own sake, please stand up, please stand in your power. And if you already are doing this, they are, they are clapping their hands for you and they're saying, yes, right on, like, let's do this. This is what I've been trying to, this is what we've been transforming for. You're going through a massive transformation. You're not meant to stay in this situation anymore. You're different now. You're overcoming. You are changing in a beautiful way. And that involves you not bending over anymore. You not taking things that aren't good for you anymore. That are just, that are unfair, unjust. That are taking advantage or manipul manipulating you or not appreciating you, okay? It is time for us to have victory. It is time for us to step into our true power, okay? lead ourselves out of this situation into our true life, into our, into our, our purpose, our higher purpose. And that includes us leaving anything that is no longer fair, just, um, 
beneficial, okay? There is a person or a situation here that is manipulative to the core, that is working on fear, that is working on, um, yeah, it's like they rule with an iron fist, and that is the shadow aspect of Mars. So they know that you have the more positive aspect of Mars where you can lead people into victory. You can lead yourself into victory, into overcoming unfairness. Whereas this other person is the shadow aspect of Mars, okay, which is ruling with an iron fist. It is someone who is just angry, fearful, and that's how they work. And they just try to manipulate or move people to their will and it's it's or yeah like not pay them fairly um not treat them with the respect that they deserve they don't have love in their hearts to and i'm not saying like completely or anything like that but they they let their fear overcome them and they that's how they move okay they are like a giant with a they're just a, like a tyrant Okay, and it, they deserve to have this happen. They deserve to have you leave. They deserve to have one pulled over on them, honestly. They deserve to know how they've been making you or maybe others feel. They need someone strong to face them. They need someone to tell them what they've been doing. They need this power to come in and in this, in this fair, in this righteousness, in this love and say, no more, no more. I'm out of here. And guess why? Because this, 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 and this, because you've been, you have been doing these things that are not fair, that are not just, and I am not taking it anymore. And they need someone to stand up to them because they aren't fair. They aren't just, and they need that equal, but opposite power to face them, to, to tell them, to overcome them. Wow. This is so intense. <laughs> Um, it's beautiful. Okay, interesting. They want another one of these alchemist cards. Hold on. I'm just going to sneeze. I'm sorry about this, guys. If it's going to come. Okay, it's passing. Let's continue. All right. Pile number ones. Sublimination. Yeah, this is you rising above a certain situation. I'm going to read this one out of the book. You are rising above something. You are leaving something. You are getting out of a dark situation or, yeah, tough, tough spot with some energy that it's, it's just not right. Elevation, rising, flight. Sublimination is the great alchemical operation of air. It occurs when there is enough heat to change a solid substance into gas, causing it to rise up, up, and away. Enough heat, Mars, right? The devil, heat. It's that burning. It's, it's got you, and you're like, okay, I have to rise up and away of this. I have to leave this because it's getting too hot. It's getting too intense. It's getting too much. Okay, and so you have to start, you have to take action. It's time, you can tell, it's time to leave. Okay, and it might not happen with a situation. It might mean you standing in your power and saying, that is enough, and is enough. I have to go, I have to leave. Okay, therefore, when sublimination is present, there is an aspect of celebrated elevation, of ascending above and gaining a greater perspective. <gasps> Amazing. Birds in flight. Birds in flight, you guys. Amazing. Okay. Um, sorry, where are Birds in flight, mountain peaks, ladders, and balloons are all subliminatio images. As well with all operations, subliminatio has a shadow potential. Through ascension, there is a risk of separating from others, of sensing oneself higher or above. This risk is particularly great in spiritual traditions that offer a linear model of achievement. The divine alchemist rise, rises humbly and supports the upliftment of others, always in touch with the cycle of humanity. Exactly what we're saying with ba banding together with people. That might be an aspect of this, okay? 
The divine alchemist rises humbly and supports the cycle of humanity. We said that. Service is the natural balancing agent for sublimination. It may be the next rung on your ladder. Wow. So yeah, there is something here where you're going to have to rise up and maybe other people are going to come with you if this is a job. Excuse me, I'm just going to blow my nose again. Okay. All right, so other people will will either join you or they'll appreciate what you're doing and standing up or, or leaving, right? And they'll say, oh my gosh, I've been wanting to do this too, but maybe you doing it helps other people have the confidence to do it as well. Maybe seeing you do it, go they go, you know what? They're right. They're right. This is some BS. Like, we, we got to go. They're, they're doing the right thing. And seeing you stand in your power will help other people do it as well. Okay? They'll see you and they'll be like, oh my gosh. Look at them rising above this. Look at them like without fear of leaving this behind or losing a paycheck. Because it's like, you just can't do it anymore. And it's like, I'd rather risk not having this aspect of stability or comfortability or whatever it is. I just can't, my soul cannot take it anymore. Your soul is done. Your soul is tired. This situation is dead, done, over with. There's enough heat and you're going to have success. They're telling you, you will have success once you leave. You got to leave. You'll find your success. You will gain the energy. You will gain the confidence. You will take the actions necessary. Your soul is leading you to a victory. All right. And it's time for this situation to go. It's time to leave. It is. The heat is rising. It's not a safe place to be. It's not a beneficial place to be. We got to go. All right. Please leave me. Okay. Interesting. They want to give you. I love that spirit is switching up the cards today. We haven't used these cards in a while. Okay, so this is the sub Sacred Rebels deck, Oracle deck, and it fits so well because I think that is you. You are a Sacred Rebel, okay, with Mars and Sublimination and all of these cards. Like, you have such a powerful, rebellious spirit that is, and soul, right? Your soul is so cool, so powerful, so in their strength and confidence and they're saying you are this rebel you need to you know that is this seven of swords here that is that rebellious energy where if if we see anyone taking advantage of anyone we love especially ourselves we gotta stand up we can't just sit around and let it happen right it's time to take action it's time to move up and on and you will you'll fly okay there is, you're feeling this for a reason. Legacy of light and diving for light. Holy, so much light. Okay, I am going to read these out of the book for you. I'll read a little bit out of the book because they, they can be long. All right, legacy of light. It is time for more light to enter your life. It is time for life to become lighter, for you to rise like air. Okay, enough. Leave this heaviness behind. Leave this density of the past, of these people that are no longer, they're too heavy to, to, to lift with you. You are literally becoming lighter and therefore you're lifting out of a situation that is so dense and heavy with fear and negativity. 7-Eleven also might be a divine num number for you guys to look up. You are being asked to honor the legacy of light that is your sacred birthright. Take nourishment and support from those that have come before you. Your ancestral lines not only in blood, but also in spirit. Perhaps these are the beings that have inspired and motivated you to live as a sacred rebel from your heart and with belief in yourself. The more you are nourished by this legacy of light from your past, the more you become a bearer of the legacy for those that will be supported by your light in the future. This is a sacred endowment from the great universal source of light to humanity. It is the light of wisdom, radically uh, creativity, 
Creativity, radical courage, love and respect that is passed down from the heart of each generation to the next. The legacy of light is your spiritual birthright to re refine and ra shine your essence to the world, to be like a sun, radiant and unapologetic of your nature, Mars, the sun, that m deep, confident, masculine, powerful energy. And okay, I also, I'm very grateful that we read this because even if, let's say this might start with you standing up against someone in your life, okay, an a thing in your life, but this is deeply part of your path, of your purpose, is for you to transform situations, okay, that are unjust into justness. Maybe you are uh, some kind of, you know, radical leader or you're some kind of activist of some kind. But this is deep within your soul purpose to stand up against unfairness, to, you know, do things in a strategic way that, that stands up against bullies, against, you know, people who are taking advantage of others. It is in your purpose to ride them into victory, okay, to band together with other people in service and to maybe it's just showing them their power and you allow them to stand up against their own bullies in their lives. Okay, but you have this deeply, uh, it's like emperor, emperor is Mars, okay, it's this, it's this divine rebellious leader, okay, that isn't afraid to go into unknown territory, okay, it isn't afraid to have the confidence to explore new paths, to lead people into victorious um, situations for themselves, to rise above darkness, to rise above fear, to rise above bullies, to rise above in any unjust or inequality. This is part of your path. This is your ancestral patterns being passed down to you. And it's time for you to realize this. It's time for you to step into your power. Whoa. Um, okay. The oracle of legacy of light comes to you when you need confirmation that a creative choice you are making or have made or soon will make is one that is in alignment with your sacred purpose and spiritual path of healing and growth. The legacy of light cannot be ignored when, without some detriment to your sense of well-being. Exactly. If you were asking about a particular uh, question and drew this card, then part of your answer to your question is that the issue at hand is one of utmost importance to your spiritual growth, even if it seemed like a relatively insignificant question. Um, okay. I'm trying to see which is like kind of the most key part. Please guide me. Okay, here we go. Although you may doubt your goodness at times and being human does mean there will be some very dark moments on your path, this oracle affirms that you are coming from love with the pure intention to simply live your life and do your best in the circumstances in which you find yourself. You are being asked to avail yourself of the help that is awaiting your request so that your own light can be become, become part of the greater shining legacy of divine brilliance made manifest upon earth. Wow. This oracle is also guiding you to something in your family history or spiritual ancestry that is relevant to you now. Your spiritual ancestry can be recognized through the traditions and cultures you are intrigued by and interested in. They do not have to be the same as the spiritual traditions that you were raised with in this lifetime, although they may be. The influence of your family history and or spiritual tradition may be encouraging and constructive, but it may also be holding you back. Sometimes we initially absorb the hidden fears of our parents or our religious upbringing, such as the beliefs that dreams cannot manifest or that we have to compromise to the point of losing what makes us feel truly alive. If you can relate to this or want healing, just in case, it is happening beyond the level of your conscious awareness. Simply complete the healing process below. Okay. It says, finally, if you need to 
need a jolt to recognize that you are a creative being entitled to explore your ingenuity. Perhaps through taking a class or pursuing your own artistic interests at home, then this oracle brings the particular guidance that yes, this is part of your life path and you are encouraged to take it further. You are also acknowledged through this oracle as having some special creative and healing offering to make to the world in this lifetime. You will leave a legacy of light for the greater good upon the planet and you will be lovingly supported in many ways by the great creative universal intelligence when you ask for help. If you don't know how to do that, complete the healing process below. I mentioned it twice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on the screen and you can screenshot it. Can you see that okay? Here, I'll bring it closer. Screenshot it and you can do this at home within yourself as many times as you want. All right. So diving for light, how brave you are. You are diving for light. It can be much simpler to seek light in the heavenly, in that which is blissful, sweet, loving, and kind. To look for the light in that which is dark is an advanced task that only the rebellious and brave heart will attempt. Ooh, I love that. You may not feel that you have taken such a journey by choice, yet you have taken this wise challenge on from deep within your soul. Your innermost being has invoked this situation in your life with the intention that you grow in power, wisdom, and creative juice. Again, power, wisdom, creativity. You hold so much within your soul that wants to come out, that wants to be expressed. You will have success in something deeply creative for you. Okay, your innermost being has invoked this situation in your life. Oh, sorry, I got that. it also wants to experience a bold and fearless trust in life and become further empowered to live it with zest and courage. Wow, the oracle of diving for light speaks of a time when you are called into darkness through life circumstances, situations, and relationship challenges or inner struggles that defy clear understanding. That darkness might be a creative block, a sense of being in a void, or feelings of depression, rage, sadness, fear, or anxiety. There may or may not be an obvious cause. The darkness might be generally accepted and socially acknowledged because there is a socially acceptable or obvious reason for it, such as death, divorce, or retrenchment. However, there, there may be no obvious justification for your experience of darkness you might not need a reason to be able to accept it. Likewise, you may struggle to find an unconditional acceptance of your experience. Wow. Just know that you are actually on track and right where you need to be. Okay. I'm going to go... Okay, this oracle brings particular guidance that although you are powerful, you are also vulnerable at this time. You need to be alert to sabotage and criticism that might make your progress more difficult than it already is. That would be rather unnecessary. At least some of the people around you m might be more attached to their fear and doubt than to their, f their faith in your process and the ways of the creative, rebellious, spiritual path that asks us to trust unconditionally. They may be frightened due to a lack of understanding. You don't need to carry their fear for them. You only have your own process to attend to and they can choose to be inspired by your journey or frightened by it. They are free to respond as they wish and whatever those responses are, they are part of their journey for them to work through. Wow. You may also need to be vigilant against the darker forces within you. These are the voices that you may not expect, particularly if you are a pure-hearted being who typically resonates with love. These voices or feelings might surprise you with their dark intensity. They may be feelings of hate, terror, or of wanting only to sleep because any further is just all too hard. They may contain vicious criticism of yourself or tell you that your inner creative work is pointless, unoriginal, or not, not worth it or stupid. These dark forces might try to tell you that you are on the wrong path, suggest that you will fail, or ask with great condescension who the hell do you think you are. Stay in your heart and do not believe these dark forces. Stay in compassion. Fear creates the energy of anger, hate, and destructiveness. These forces are a part of life. We don't have to be frightened of them, nor do we need to deny their existence or try to ignore them. 
in order to find light in the darkness. We just need to hold compassion and be intelligently aware that we can avoid being seduced into the trap of needing to prove ourselves or into the mistaken belief that we need to fight against darkness. It is too easy to get caught up in trying to heal the dark. Darkness just is. Recognize it when it is there and be in your compassionate heart. All you need to do is make a choice. Will you stay in your heart or will you be seduced by darkness and overcome by hate or sleepiness? Wow. So that's like this saying, this creative way to get out of something, okay? To leave something, to rise above and not be seduced into the darkness, into the sleepiness of comfortability that we might have to leave something and maybe that's our own mindsets, okay? Maybe that's the voices of doubt. Don't believe those voices. Believe in the, in the most high. Believe in your creative power. Believe in your success and your victory. I'm so glad we read these messages because it just brings it all home and ties it all together. You are rising above something very dark um, in your life, in a situation, and maybe it's just things purging within your own soul, okay, that need to be looked at and loved and given that compassion. All right, but you are rising above. You are, okay? And there's something deeply creative and powerful that wants to be birthed through you. So allow it. Leave this darkness behind, whether that's in you, in a situation in your life. It's time to rise. It's time to go. All right, pile one. So that was your message from your soul for your soul. And I hope you got something out of this i hope that it resonated within your soul for you please let me know in the comments if it did um it was definitely super deep and there was a lot of messages there so yeah if this reading resonated please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it really helps me out and i just love you know being able to grow this community and and these messages and i think they're just getting deeper as we go on and it's just so lovely and i'm so grateful to be able to tap into this energy and be able to read this for you guys. It's truly a beautiful, beautiful life um, and it's a beautiful purpose and I want, you are about to find that within yourself. You're about to step into a new level of that, okay? And trust that, trust yourself, trust in that creativity, trust in that spiritual power you have, even if those around you are trapped in fear, okay? That, the fear is never the truth. Fear is always a lie. All right, so remember that, and I will see you guys in the next reading. And also, if you want to gain more information on your own situation, you could book a personal reading with me down in the description box on my website, all right? All my love, Pile One. Peace. Hello, Pile Number Two. Welcome to your message from your soul for your soul, all right? You guys chose the Breathe card, which is... A card of talking about being present in the moment, being with your breath. And I think this is going to be, or this is especially important for you guys right now, to be connected with self in the body, in the present, and maybe allowing yourself to connect to God, which is your breath, okay? That is God. It is life. And so there is some connection here that is needing or slowing down okay a quieting of the self of the mind to connect in with the breath all right and we're gonna grab more information here for you guys and i'm sorry i feel i sound stuffy and stuff it's because my allergies are really been bad lately so ramping up <laughs> okay so i apologize for the sniffling and probably the sneezing ahead of time so Spirit is drawing me towards the Matchbox Tarot, which is a deck that I created. Um, it is designed using antique and vintage Matchbox, um, matchbox uh, designs from around the world. So I collaged them and created this deck. Um, it is available in the store below. It is also available on my website and the shipping is included in the price, okay? So wherever you are in the world, that's the price. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we have strength. Mm. Look at that. Exactly. Four of Swords, the breath, meditation, 
I think there is like a new level of balance that wants to come through within you. Okay, balancing the light and the dark. There might be a balancing needed at the moment because maybe you're maybe you're growing something creatively or there's something in your life that you're really working on or that you're really trying to, you know, create within your life. Maybe this is a business or a creative project, okay? And they're saying in order for you to build this in the right way, in the way that's maybe the most prosperous and beneficial, the way that makes your message the most pure or your, your product the most pure or the most highest version of what it is that you work on or that you create within your life. This could even be your family, okay? Being the best parent or being the best roommate or being the best partner, all right? There is something within you that either needs to be looked at or balanced more. Um, strength talks about overcoming a lower nature and coming into divine balance. It's only... It only means to look at our shadow and our light with equ equality, okay? Not being scared of anyone, not leaving anything out within the wholeness of self. It's totally accepting all versions of self, everything that comes up and not judging anything as bad or, you know, unimportant or scary or unlovable strength is the wholeness of self. It is seeing the light and the dark and, and bringing them together and seeing that these two things are, are, are there and they're beautiful in both in their own way and they all have something to give me. So they're inviting you, your soul is inviting you to rest at this time, to make sure that you have a, uh, a time set out in your day to, to rest, to be in stillness, and to please focus on your breath. And this is a message for me too. I know this is my pile. <laughs> I have been getting so many clues and hints and, and intuitive pulls to just take more time out to connect, to time away from our phones, from distractions, Okay, to make sure that what we're building, to make sure that my, this is my example, my readings are at their purest, okay, in their purest form so that I can do what I do. I can teach, I can speak um, in whatever way you do this, you create, you paint so that it is coming from the highest expression of source. Okay, so that it's not distorted by maybe our own judgments or it's not distorted by something imbalanced within us because maybe we're doing too much, you know, maybe we're just overworking ourselves or maybe we're on our phones too much. And so the message is going to be skewed because it's coming from too many maybe fear sources or outside sources. Okay, there's something that we have to connect to in order to receive. Maybe this is going to be a beautiful download or a beautiful message, um, a deepening of our own power and strength. Okay, a deepening into self. And so that's going to help us build this. That's going to help our creative project or our passion or whatever our, our business. It's going to help everything, our family around us grow in the most prosperous, fair, equal, and um, biggest, okay, most abundant um, way. It, it, it means every day connecting with self, connecting with source, connecting with our breath, taking that time out. There's nothing more important for that. It's not working, 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 pushing, pushing, pushing. It's connecting to that deep source of that intuitive power of that true creative source which is god which is source energy which is the universe and maybe that means sitting out in nature going for more walks in nature where our mind can just be clear and emptied we can sit in our body or we can be present in the moment with our body with ourselves with nature with mother with father okay with mother and father right here, right? They have something to give us. Oh my gosh, there it is. 
with the mother and the father, the Alpha and the Omega, with, within us all, Shiva and Shakti, that is strength. That is the total balance of self, okay? And there is something that they have prepared for us, that they have want to give us, okay? That is going to help us grow, that is going to help us up level, possibly. But we have to connect with them. So we have to connect in nature to get mother. We have to meditate, clear our minds with father, allow his wisdom to come through, allow her wisdom to come up. Okay. It's, there's something here with them, with the balance of the universe, with the balance of God, of the alpha and omega. When I say God, and I sometimes do say he just out of habit. Okay. Because he is easier than she, <laughs> but it is not one or the other. It is both. We all have both. We are both. God is both, <laughs> right? It is the sum of all parts. It is everything. It is everything all at once, right? Of all time. <laughs> and so it is that deep connection with the masculine and feminine within us. It is that total balance of experience. And so we're coming into a new form of that, a new balance within Right, and we have to ac accept and love and allow these to come through. We have to connect. So if we have to, all we have to do is connect and focus on the breath and allow it to come through. Allow us to be be the. We have to become the student by connecting in, allowing mother and father to come through and to give us the gifts, give us the wisdom that they have ready for us to give. They're like, we have prepared this for you. We want to give this to you. You have to let us in in order for this to nourish you and to grow you in the way that is you're ready for, okay? You're ready to grow in these new beautiful ways. We have something of deep nourishment to give you. So please, please empty the mind, sit in the body, connect with our us, connect with your breath. Wow, how beautiful and deep is that? <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, we're and it's so funny. We're gonna go back to the alchemist deck here. All right, what antimony? Am I saying that? Ant antimony, antimony. Please correct me in the comments if you know. I'm gonna read this out of the book because I don't know if I've gotten this, but it looks like a wolf. So it's like a pack. I'm going to read this. Hold on. But it's like almost like the lone wolf. Okay. Wildness, fierceness, hunger. And it's just so funny. I don't know if you guys heard it, but my stomach just growled right before I got to this page. <laughs> okay. In medieval times, antimony became known as the gray wolf of alchemy. This was due to the metalloid's unpredictable qualities and its ability to eat away at materials in the laboratory. Gold is one of the few materials to withstand contact with it. For these reasons, this card must be read with delicacy. On one hand, it represents the wild and free spirit that longs to express itself in the world. On the other hand, it represents a fierceness that can turn destructive or corrosive at the drop of a hat. Here we go. The message here is clear. Channel the gray wolf's energy toward creativity. Challenge it to come out from the shadows, exactly express itself. Embark on the creative project or adventure that's calling you rather than focusing on why you can't. Once you begin, don't quit. The gray wolf responds to respect, not repression. Whoa. I want to read. Um, another interpretation of this material is that something is eating away or wearing away at the situation or person. Let this possibility open to deeper revelation. Like many of the alchemical cards, the gray wolf can most easily be felt through the laboratory of the human body. Dance, run, shake, breathe. <gasps> Dance, run, shake, breathe. Okay. You need to connect and breathe in order to receive the nourishment that is going to help you in this building, in this creative project, in whatever it is that you're trying to build within your life. There is something deeply nourishing for your soul that needs to be received through the breath, 
through sitting in meditation, through sitting in nature, or through doing walks, something that clears your mind and that sits you into your body. Maybe that is dancing for a lot of you, but I do see a lot of rest here. Maybe that's working out on yoga, anything that is putting the breath first, that is putting you into your body to receive this nourishment, okay? To receive something maybe from the shadows, like it said, to receive something from the darkness, okay? And maybe that is going into the darkness and allowing what wants to come through. There is a gift that is going to help you with this creative project, with this business, with whatever you're trying to build in the physical, okay? connect in with the breath in whatever way is best for you to do that okay for me it, it is definitely meditating it is definitely sitting in a quiet place i put on i like what helps me connect the deepest is putting on a eye mask so i'm in complete darkness and sometimes i'll listen with headphones to binaural beats it really helps me focus in okay so that is mine. And I also work out. So I, that puts me in the body and in my breath. And I really focus on the breath. So there's certain things like that. And going on walks in nature. That is huge for me as well. So doing more of that. It's not... It, the corrosive part here is you pushing yourself constantly, constantly, constantly. Without giving yourself the break to connect in with your body and your breath. That is going to make this wear away. That is going to make this maybe fall apart or not being able to build in the way that you want it to be. What is the beneficial part of this is to connect with your breath. This is the key. It is making sure that that is put at the first and foremost. It's not working the hardest. It's not being the most disciplined in how much you can get done. The discipline here is going to be take time out for self, take time out for quiet, take time out for stillness and connecting with the breath, balancing ourselves, feeling that deep masculine and femininity within our bodies, allowing, asking what has to come through. Our soul, there is something in there that needs to come through and we just have to connect to the breath in order to allow. We need to quiet our mind in order for it to allow it to come through. We need to feel it within ourselves. Okay. All right. Ooh, this is so exciting. All right, pile two. A message from their soul for their soul. What is their soul trying to tell them? What is their soul? Justice, again, with the balance. Balance, balance, balance. Balance. Balance your action and your creative pursuits with the feminine recept. So that's the masculine, taking action, building, right? Building on the outer world, being disciplined in the outer world with the balance of the feminine, of the relaxation, of the receptivity, of being in the body. Okay, that is the feminine. So we need more balance. Maybe we're over overly acting right now. We're being too in the masculine where we're taking action, 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 and we're not giving enough space and time for that receptivity of sitting in the feminine, of receiving the wisdom, of receiving the the divine light and channel. Okay, we need that balance to come in. This is key in order for your soul's growth at this time, in order to build on the physical, build what you want in the best way, in the most prosperous and broad way. It, it's not always giving, giving, pushing, 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 acting, acting, acting. The masculine needs the balance of the feminine. The feminine needs the balance of the masculine. It needs both. It needs the time to quiet, to rest in stillness, to connect with the breath in order to receive the downloads, to receive the inspiration, to receive the purity of message, to receive the purity of our creation and our creative power. That is what's going to feed us nourishment by resting, by connecting with breath, by allowing and resting. It is the nourishment needed in order to act, in order to push that out, in order to be in the physical and build in the physical. <gasps> It's like the mother, the mother feeds, right? They nourish, they nourish the children, they nourish people so that they can go out 
and act so that they can go out and build and create, right? So think about it like that. I need to feed my soul. I need to feed myself in order for me to build in the best way that I can, in order for me to create in the highest form that is possible for me. The Tower and the Ace of Cups. Oh my goodness. Revelation. Okay, great revelation. There is something maybe falling apart in your world. Maybe there's something coming down, some kind of great change happening within your world. And this especially so. And maybe this is a great change within your, what it is you're doing in any aspect of life. You might be going through great change right now, or there is a great change about to happen that is going to lead you closer to the star. You, you see the star here. They're being led to their dream, to their higher purpose. Ace of Cups, a new prosperous beginning, a loving, a heart-spaced beginning, okay? Something of great value to us that wants to come through that is going to make us feel so fulfilled, so grateful. And we must fill our own cups as we're doing this, okay? As we walk towards our dream, as we are guided to our North Star, to our wish, we must fill our cups. We, okay, look at this. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Spirit. You're so amazing. <laughs> Thank you, souls of Pile 2. See, they're walking in the desert. When you're walking and you're working, right? If you don't stop to, to fill up a cup of water, you're going to, I'm going to say die, but you're going, your energy is going to be sucked and drained out of you so that you cannot reach the star, so that you can't reach your destination. You must stop and fill your cup. You must stop and fill your, nourish yourself so that you can keep going. This is key. This is so vital for you in order to reach your goals, in order to reach your wish, your manifestation, what it is that you're building, the, the, the outcome that you want. You must fill, nourish yourself. Make sure that you have you know, a fullness of spirit, of heart, that your heart feels full, that you connect in with your body. Fill yourself with love. Fill yourself with the power of God. Fill yourself with the power of source, that deep, ever-flowing love, heart space. Start your day with that. Before you begin on the outer, fill your cup in silence, in love. Connect in with that God. Connect in how you do that. I sit and I will say, I am opening myself. I am receiving the highest, most divine love. And I imagine, and I can feel it now, I imagine it pouring into me, sprinkling down upon me so that I am just drenched with God's love. And that is how I fill myself. That is how I charge myself up for the day. And that is how you create in the highest possible way, in the best way for yourself. Okay? <laughs> Amazing. So they're saying, make sure you, you do this as you're heading towards, you can create this dream, but if you do not do this, you, the dream might, might fade. It might die because you're working out of a place of emptiness where it's not going to be its best and highest form. Okay. And so that might mean it, it lacks originality. It lacks energy. It lacks purity of message or purity of you know of skill it's going to lack skill it's going to lack things and so it won't make it successful or you won't even make it there because you'll burn out okay so this is key in order to make this a success in order to make this a reality in your physical sit in your feminine in your body connect with your breath connect with your love fill your cup Sit in your own love, sit in your own beauty and wonder and connect mm, and just bathe in it. Okay. All right. So we're going to get one last message for my pile twos. What does their soul want to tell them? Sit in your soul. Let your soul nourish you. King of Wands. Yes, you have such power you can accomplish you can build this you oh, the king of wands is 
the greatest, highest creative being there is in the tarot, okay? He, whatever he focuses on is successful. It is the most unique, original, creative, okay? He is divine creation. He is uniqueness, okay? You have such a power. You have such a strength and a confidence. And they're saying this is the masculine, right? It is the, the creative masculine. It's the sun, you have something that is going to be very successful, very well known, okay? You're going to shine. You just have to connect in and fill your cup so that you can be, become the truest form of your creation, so that you can be the divine creator, so that you can be that great and powerful Oz <laughs> of your life. You know what I'm saying? This is... Oh, Six of Swords, yeah. You are going, moving into a much more peaceful time of life within your mind. This will bring you, this will shift you into a new, prosperous, more loving beginning, into a more peaceful time where things are working, things are just easier and more flowing. You just have to fill it. You have to fill it. And as you move, you're gonna see it's so much easier this way. I'm connecting in with my highest divine source. And it's, I'm feeling myself first and that way I show up and my work is at its most highest form. It is the most pure. It is the most powerful. It is the most potent. It is the most successful. Okay. And you're like, oh my gosh, how did I do that? How did I connect with that? How did I create that? And it's like, cause you filled it. You filled yourself up with divine source and love. And so you have a full cup of creative juice of divine juice that's going to, it's, it can't not be successful, right? This is going to make your wish, your dream come true. It's going to create you into that highest version of self that you can be. Make everything within your life success and, and creative. Fill your own cup, work. Make sure your cup is full before you act, before you go out, okay? And that way you can share, that way you can put it towards the things that you want and it will be as successful as you want it to be. It will be the, the most divine um, outcome. All right, pile two, that was a message for your soul, from your soul, and I hope you enjoyed it. This was a beautiful, beautiful message. Um, if it resonated with you, please leave me a comment. I absolutely love your comments and I love to connect with you guys. It literally, you have no idea how much it makes my day, how it makes my week. It is the best part of my day, I swear to gosh. <laughs> and if it did resonate, please give me a thumbs up as well. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss another reading. And if you'd like to know more about your own situation, you can book a personal reading with me down in the description box. All right. Otherwise, I will see you in the next reading pile number two. All of my love. Peace. Hello, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. This is a message for your soul from your soul. All right. You guys chose the vinegar card. Vinegar is a very strong element, okay? It permeates everything, and that's what this card talks about. It kind of like seeps in. It adds like a sour note, but it's also a very powerful agent, okay? So it's powerful to be used. It's also very cleansing. Like I just made, I make my cleaner, natural cleaner with vinegar. So it's super cleansing, all right? And it, it, it really is a good way to clean a space, um, to to remove things, okay? So yeah, I definitely want to see and pickle things, preserve things. So I really want to see where your reading is taking us here. Interesting. Every single pile, Spirit has brought us to this deck. Um, this is my deck that I created, the Matchbox Tarot. I created it using vintage and antique um, Matchbox designs from around the globe, okay? Um, I collaged them and yeah, totally put this together. I'm very happy with it. And it is for sale if you would like your own copy. Um, it is down in the, in my shop, which is attached to the video. It's also on my website and the price includes shipping worldwide. Okay. So it is, it's all there. The price, what you see is what you get. Okay. Three of wands. Yeah. Three of wands. 
King of Cups. Wow. Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords. This almost makes me feel like your soul is saying making sure that you you come from the heart space. You come from a, a pure place because there's almost like a new experience coming in or a new beginning. But it's almost telling you to be careful with how you speak. But be careful with the place in which your words come from. Because they could either be really, really helpful and really beautiful and really like... You can come from that that really deeply the King of Cups emotional emotional wisdom um, that is going to help prosper and make things grow around you, or you can sometimes you know there's that sharpness of vinegar that is like super strong, and it's too they want you to be strong they want you to be strong in this experience and in how you show up, but to not almost be too sharp with your words. Um, so that it kind of maybe, um, yeah, it might, it might like take over or it might be a little too strong in some way. What? This is so interesting. I almost want to read vinegar because I feel like there's something in that message in which I might be missing. Hold on. Acidity, distillation, memory. The tongue knows vinegar. Even the suggestion of receiving a few drops in the mouth reminds us of vinegar sour and lip puckering qualities. Exactly. In alchemy, vinegar serves as an acted, active agent of distillation, fermentation, and preservation. It is incredibly useful when applied in the right amounts with intention. This said, it can be easily overused, overwhelming the situation at hand. Right. When the vinegar card is present in the reading, it indicates a sour note permeates the laboratory. It is likely something from the past is showing up in the present demanding our attention. It is in vinegar's nature to take over, to overwhelm. Be cautious with this material. A little goes a long way. As they say, it is productive to look at your past but not stare. Such is the complex energy of vinegar. All right, so... Maybe you are having a new beginning, right? Maybe you're about to embark on a new adventure or a new beginning, a new prospect in some way. And they're saying, take what you've learned from the past, right? But don't let it overwhelm you. And maybe this is even a person of the past. Or maybe you're going to a situation that, you, that you're returning to or a place that you're returning to. And they're saying, allow this to be a new experience for you or allow new people into this situation don't look, she's looking into the past as well. Don't let the old thoughts of what maybe had happened before or the situations in which happened um, in the past permeate or affect the new situation in which you're going into. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. My allergies are really bad right now. <laughs> you can hear it in my voice. Um, so yes, they're saying don't let your thoughts from the past affect what it is that you're you're doing now or how you're looking at a new situation because there is something really new a new experience trying to come in and maybe your thoughts maybe be careful of what you speak okay going forward that it's not just coming from oh well this happened last time and so maybe it makes our voice a little bit sharper or in fear or um yeah, like maybe we close ourselves off to certain experiences because we were scared of it repeating from the past. Maybe there's a new relationship coming in or there's a new person coming in who this person, King of Cups, is very, look, he's like enlightened. He has a, a halo around him. He's a very 
very compassionate and well-rounded person, a very emotionally intelligent person. So this doesn't have to be someone coming in, okay, uh, or a new relationship, but this could also mean you coming from that place of emotional intelligence, of deep presence, moving into the future instead of looking to the past in order to try to figure out this new experience. This is saying just open yourself to the new, to what wants to come through, to the new thoughts and the new experiences and the new communication and the new people that want to come through. You know, don't kind of write certain situations or experiences off because of fear or of past situations or this happened last time I went here or this happened last time I traveled or this happened la with my last relationship. Don't allow certain fears and it's easier said than done. I totally understand that. But I think you have the emotional intelligence to override these thoughts, okay, to not let them negatively affect your future or your present, okay, by allowing the newness, allowing clarity of thought, allowing clarity of heart to allow you to go in with an openness of heart, an openness of mind, okay, have an open mind going forward into this new beginning, into this new experience, okay, because that is going to help you out the most, that is going to help you grow the most, heal the most, Okay, heal the, the now, heal the future, heal self, or heal the relationship. Okay, it is going, there is something very, very beneficial for you to gain out of this new experience. But what can maybe ruin it or sour it is if you're closing yourself off because of past things, past situations, relationships, um, whatever happened in the past. Okay open yourself to new, open yourself to a new experience. Maybe you're like, well, last time I went on a trip, something bad happened. And so now I don't know. I don't know if I want to go. And it's like, this is something completely new though. It's not every time is going to be the same or not every experience is bringing you the same energy. You have to risk, you have to go out, you have to be open to new and exciting things. Everything is different. Everything is shifting and changing. And it's all there for us to grow. Even if something negative happened in the past, that ultimately helped you become someone, you know, very powerful or helped you in some way or another become more discerning or, you know, gain boundaries in some way. Okay. So this might be a more emotionally heart opening experience that is trying to come through. All right. That's going to balance things out in a really beautiful way. Okay, but we have to be open to it. We have to be open to exploring in new ways so that we can grow, so that we can learn, so that life can shift in a beautiful way. Okay, uh, so where are we going next? All right, what is, whoa, what do my pile threes need to know? Okay, Knight of Pentacles, Justice, and the Chariot. There's one more card that wanted to come out. The Emperor. So yeah, definitely for a lot of you, this could definitely be a, a partner, okay? Um, but this is saying we have to... The Emperor is a very stable leader, but he's a very rebellious leader, and he is always looking to the future. He's always looking forward. He's always looking to, you know, where else can I explore? What else can I overcome? And, and what else can I, you know, what new horizons can I expand upon, right? And this is saying whatever happened was part of a karmic cycle, okay? But there is balance coming in. What happened is not, is not like you're doomed to experience that forever. There is balance here that wants to come in, maybe in a person, all right, maybe in, in a partner, but if it's not a partner for some of you, this is you coming into balance within self and, and helping yourself lead yourself in new horizons and being open to new experiences and growing in new ways. Chariot, taking, moving in new ways, moving on, moving in new directions and having victory, okay? And this is saying you have been slow and steady Okay, we see the key here. I see the key here. It keeps drawing my attention. 
There is a key that you need in this new experience, in this new beginning that wants to come through. There is a key that is that is very key for you, for your victory, for success in some cer certain situation that you are trying to gain success in, okay? And this is saying, you know, you don't, it doesn't have to be, you could take this like slow and steady, but this is foundational for you. This is something that is foundational. Um, and maybe this is, you know, taking it slow with a new person, but this is the, the night of pentacles is very slow and steady. It's very foundational. It's making sure that everything is in order before we begin that, you know, Maybe this is if it, this is a trip, right? This is making sure that you pack everything you need and you you double check it and you you take your time with it, right? And um, making sure that your flight is booked at the right, you know, at the proper time. That you have, you know, a pickup right waiting for you. It's like it's all of those really practical steps needed that make you feel prepared and safe and that might be something that you need okay if this is like a relationship for instance this is making sure that you have that friend that you can call before you go on the date all right that that, that you're that you have everything in order that will make you feel prepared and ready to maybe take on this new beginning or take on this new experience okay they're saying those steps are very okay to do there's no one saying that no one's saying to like throw caution to the wind and just jump in this is saying allow yourself to feel prepared but they they're saying that you are prepared that you have everything you need in order to take this on you have everything in order that you can trust in yourself in order to do that that you have been growing in slow and steady and practical ways in order to allow this movement or allow this new beginning, allow this new venture or this new relationship or this new exploration, okay, in order to go ahead. That this is a new karmic cycle, that karma has been balanced, that this will be just, okay? Justice is here to make sure that everything that it is balanced, it is ready to come in now, it is ready to move forward, it is ready to invite in this new experience, okay, that you are ready for it, that you're not ill-prepared, maybe like you felt in the past, that you are very, very stable in who you are, that you are stable in your situation, that you're maybe in your finances, you're stable to take this trip, okay, you've been saving, you've, you're, you're making sure all your bills are paid, that you're good, you're saying it this is stable and ready for you to take this on for you to go forward okay the energy is stable this person is stable the, there's not much risk here it's very safe and foundational and um yeah king of cups again okay king of cups twice of a uh, double confirmation that this okay it's going to be different for everyone so this is either you or it's someone coming in for you okay that they are very or you are very emotionally strong to take this on that you are ready or that this person is the person that you are meant to be with that is emotionally secure and, and wise and stable okay they are they're ready for a relationship all right or this is you feeling you've been filling your own cup you've been gaining everything that you need, that your heart is ready for this, that you are emotionally ready for this, okay? That you know, you you can handle whatever this is. Your heart space is clear. Your heart space is ready. You are becoming, you have become, maybe this is you starting your own healing practice um, that don't worry if anything in the past has happened. The King of Cups is a healer. He is a very like enlightened person. All right, whether that is you or someone coming in for you, that you can trust whatever this is. You can trust yourself in this situation. You can trust this other person. You can trust in this new beginning that wants to come in for you, okay? That it is, it is gonna be filled with love and security and support. And it's going to nourish your soul. Your soul is craving this. So like, please give this to me. I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready to have this. I'm ready to drink it in and to soak it in. I'm ready for the love. I feel like 
and maybe this is your own self-love and maybe you acting on this or going towards this new beginning is an act of self-love in some way it is going to fill your heart and soul with love and with with goodness okay with stuff that it needs okay it's going to invite in situations that it needs in order to feel nourished and loved okay <gasps> guys if this isn't love i swear <laughs> and maybe this is a trip an experience presenting itself to you and you're like i don't know if i should do this i don't know if i'm ready you're ready and if you're single, you're going to meet the love of your life. Are you kidding me? Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. You're ready. You're ready for love. They're ready for love. You are going to meet the person that you're meant to be with, your soulmate. It's going to feel so good. You're both going to feel, going to be able to nourish that for each other because you're ready. Because you have given yourself, you have done all of the reflecting. You have given yourself that love, that nourishment, okay? You have taken care of yourself so that you are whole as yourself. And maybe you go, oh, well, I'm, I'm just so independent now and I don't need anyone. Look, being in that space, you're ready for the other person because you don't need anyone. That's the point. When you go, I need love, I need it in my life. That's when you, you don't, that's when you need to be on your own the most, okay? Because you need to give that to yourself. And I feel like you've been giving that to yourself. And if this isn't love, fit this in where it is. This is your, your heal. this is your, your purpose, the thing, okay? Whatever it is, you're ready for it. Don't, do not doubt that, Okay. This other person or this other thing is going to give you now this. It's just going to be, it's not this needy. Oh, I need you. I need this in my life. It's I fill my cup and you fill your cup. And we just get to enjoy this space together. We get to enjoy traveling together. We get to enjoy being in each other's energy and laughing together. It just adds to life. It's not that I'm missing a piece and you bring in and you fill in that peace it's i'm full i feel myself you're full and now it's just overflow and we get to live in like such um luxury together because of our love there's just an overflow now us being together it adds so much more to life it adds into our soul it adds into the beauty and the funness and the funniness of life okay it's just expanding okay it's like yeah you have a flowing river and you're good but that flowing river can meet an ocean and open up right and it's just that opening up up of experience and of love and it's just this widening and opening and why not why not have an opening a widening of experience of love of life why not add more you know, it's, you don't need it, but it's nice. <laughs> you know, you don't need a million dollars, but it's nice, right? You don't need <laughs> the love of your life, but it's nice. It's nice to have. It's nice to experience. It's nice to dip in, right? Like, it's that. Okay, so you're ready. Just do it. Just go. Open it up. Experience, just for the hell of it. Just to experience something new. Just try. It's not going to be a repeat. Your karma is cleared from all that shit that you've experienced. Okay? It's cleared now. So open yourself up to this new experience. Let yourself have it. Let yourself enjoy. There is nothing wrong. There is actually everything right with letting yourself enjoy this and let yourself enjoy it and have luxury have space have all of the love okay don't close yourself off because you've experienced something bad in the past that makes no sense that's that's literally like <laughs> if we did that like we'd never walk outside of our door because oh last time i walked outside my door i got stung by a bee but you know that's not gonna happen every time <laughs> right it's worth it to go out and see what else is there right because it's it, that's that's a very rare it, it happens once in a while yes but it's just to teach us right it's not going to happen every single time so let yourself go let yourself have this new experience this new opening 
okay? Don't spoil the rest of your life because of a past experience. Don't spoil how much love and beauty you can have in your life and expansion because of some crappy thing that happened to you, okay? Some bad characters, some bad happenings, some bad experience. That was just in that time. It was meant for your soul to learn at that time, but it's not forever. It's not every time. And now they're saying that karma has been cleared now. You're open, you're whole, you're ready. All right, so let it in. Let yourself have it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Pile three. All right, we're going to get one last message here. Sorry, I just hit the... Am I okay? Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, we're going to get a rune. Rune for pile number three. What does their soul want to tell them? What is their soul? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. All right. This is deeply connected in with the home space, with the family, with your money. And the Kingfisher, these are all water elements, by the way. There is so much love. There is so much depth that is knocking at your door now with this new experience. A deepening of self, a deepening of the expansion of the amount of love you can hold. Okay, that is knocking at your door. Of the amount of finance, of, in, of security that you can hold. Okay, within your home. Maybe this is, you know, if this is a relationship, it's this other person coming in and they make your home that much more special and loving and, and you know, they bring another income possibly. And so that allows maybe you get a bigger place or you get a more comfortable space. Okay. Um, and it's the Kingfisher is a super prosperous energy. He has caught the golden fish right? It's that, it's the thing that we've wanted for so long that maybe we've been denying ourselves or maybe we've been too afraid to kind of let it in. But it is that thing that is going to nourish ourselves, nourish our lives, nourish our soul. Our soul is craving this nourishment. It wants it so bad. So please allow it to have this. They're going to say you have no idea how much your life is going to expand in richness, expand in depth, in love, in the amount that you can hold and the amount you can experience in life. Please let us have this. <laughs> we are begging you. Our, your soul is begging you. Please, please, please. You have no idea how much this is going to help you, help us, help our souls grow, help us feel so safe and secure and loved and deep. The seahorse is family, okay? Maybe help your ex family expand. And maybe if you're, you know, if you're um, at like retirement age, maybe this is, you know, your family that you've created already and their family and you come together and you get this beautiful big family that is like every, you know, Christmas we come together and it's just this growth of love. It's that feeling where it's like before, you're great to have your own family as big or as small as it is. And that feels great. But imagine if we can expand that times two, right? Why not? Why not allow more in? Why not allow more love in and depth in? And it just adds. It's just, oh, it's just good, right? There's nothing. There's no, there's no subtraction here. It's only adding. It's only piling on pile on the love right pile on the goodness and the and the money and the whatever it is this is only going to add to your life so please do not stop yourself do not look towards the past do not let the past stop you from letting this in from expanding your life okay let yourself have this you deserve it and it is going to add so much beauty, love, goodness to your life. You're going to, oh, it's like swimming in the depths. Like, mm, there's so much here. There's so much, mm, mm. the feast, it's a feast, right? So allow it, allow yourself to have it. 
Okay, pile three. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to your reading. That was your message for your soul, from your soul. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, please leave me a comment. Uh, please share. Oh my gosh, I would love to know. Okay, love to know what this is for you. Um, your comments make my day. They make my week, my year, everything. Um, and please give me a thumbs up if it resonated and subscribe to the channel. Um, so you don't miss another reading. And if you'd like to know more about your own situation, you can book a personal reading with me down in the description box. Otherwise, I will see you in the next reading, pile three. All of my love. Peace.